Hey guys and welcome to this episode of Quite Frankly. Now today I want to talk a little bit about the Liquify tool. Now the Liquify tool is used a lot to do body shaping. Now with some models you really need it, but in this case with Nadine, well, we don't need it, but I'm still going to use this image as an example. Now you can find the filter here. And now we are in the image. Now what you normally do, or what I will do, is I will actually use the Forward Warp tool and for example I will remove this. The problem is that you also see that his jacket is changing. Now that's something I don't want. Of course you can work with layers but there's a much easier way. Now if you look here you see a brush that's actually called the Freeze Mask Tool. Now if I select an area like this it actually means that this area will not be affected by what I do with my Forward Warp Tool. And this is really cool, because now I can actually change her dress without affecting his jacket. So that's pretty cool. And the same thing works with her hands. So let's say I want her hand to be 100% natural. And her arm. And there we go. But I still want to change something here. I can actually make my brush now a little bit bigger. And I can change everything around it. Of course this is way too much but you see the effect. And let's go back because this was way too much. Just give it a little bit. And there we go. And of course you can also unmask with the eraser tool. There we go. So this is what I wanted to show you with the liquify tool. So you have the freeze and you have the tall mask tool. So these two, this combination is very cool if you need to really dive into an area where you only want one area to be affected by your liquify and the other area you don't. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.